Yo, 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 what the deal? It's your boy X the E the L the O. Welcome back to the channel. Thank you. Yes, you. Thank you for coming back. But if you are new here, please do me a favor and like, subscribe, hit the bell notification. I'll let you know when I drop another video. If you are new here, make sure you put below in the comment section. I'm new here. All right. So today we will be doing a video on FL Studio 21.1. Yes, they have a new update out for FL Studio. And guess what? They made the piano roll even better. I didn't think it was possible, but they did. So let me show you what they did uh, and what's actually going on with the FL Studio piano roll. Let's go. All right, so here is FL Studio 21.1. If you want this theme that I'm actually using, you can go to my Discord and download it from the free section in my Discord. I have two of them that I've actually made for FL Studio 21. So let's get started. I'm gonna actually uh, change this out. I'm gonna go to replace it with uh, FL keys. Let's do that. So we have FL keys and we're gonna open up the piano roll. All right, so this is FL Studio's piano roll. I made it pretty much the whole screen. So, uh, And if you're familiar with FL Studio, right here at the top is where you have your tools and you have a new tool here, this one right here. So if you right click on it, it'll bring up your snap to scale. Yes, you can now do a snap to scale inside of FL Studio. Uh, I've actually been waiting for this for a long time. It's one of the reasons I really liked Cakewalk and Reaper because you just hit one button and boom, your snap to scale is actually turned on. So now they actually have it inside of FL Studio. I have it currently set to E and I have it on a natural minor. So what this means is that if I put in a note, let's say I put in this note here, right? I'm gonna stretch it out to make it one bar. And I wanna put another note like right here on this F, it's not gonna let me. As you see, it put it on a note above it because it's not in scale. This F is not in the scale of E. So what this does is allows you to add notes only to the scale. You can do that really easy now in FL Studio. So now we know this one is one. This one would be where the note would be. But basically I'm just skipping every other one. So now we have a natural minor chord in E. So I'm gonna copy these over, control and B to copy them over. So now I have four of them in line, right? All right, so I'm gonna hold down control and go over these. And if I grab this and pull it up, as you see, it's going only to the ones that's in the scale. So I can't go out of the scale with this, which is really dope, right? So I'm gonna grab this one. I'm gonna pull it up one, right? And this one here, and we're gonna go down. No, let's just leave it how it is. So this is what we have. Something really simple that you can kind of put together really easy now that you have the scale lock on there. Another cool feature that they added was time markers and you can actually do them according to a scale, which is really dope. Let me show you. So I'm gonna go right here and we're gonna go down to time markers. Right, and once you're in time markers, you wanna to go to this add key marker. And right now it's in E and it's on natural minor. So let's say we wanted to do um, a minor harmonic, right? So I click on this and now you see I have this tab up here. So let's move this over. So I'm gonna bring it over here. So everything after this will be in this E minor harmonic scale if I move all of them. But I'm just gonna move this one. So I'm gonna click on these, right? And I'm gonna move it down. And as you see, it's not in the same place because this is a, a harmonic minor and this is just a regular minor. So this gives you an option to change all these other ones as well. So if I right click in here, now that I have one, I can right click and add another scale. Let's say I wanted to do, let's say G, right? And we'll leave it on natural minor. And as you see, wherever I put this is where it's gonna change. You see like this little weird faded line in there? 
that's where the notes or the keys will actually change to this G natural minor. So if I move these, so all these notes are now under this G natural minor, right? So if I wanted to just remove this, Right, so now we have the E minor harmonic scale on here now. I think this is definitely something really dope that they added inside of FL Studio. Another thing that they did add inside of FL Studio 21.1 was the option to add Python scripts inside of the MIDI editor as well. Let me show you. All right, so I'm gonna go up here. I'm gonna go to Tools. And inside of Tools, they have this section here for scripts. So you can create your own scripts or you can use what they have here. They actually have a humanized script in here now. This is something I used to talk about all the time that they didn't have, uh, especially seeing that I can just do it with one click inside of Reaper. But now they actually have it inside of FL Studio so you can change your humanization with this little toolbar here now. So if I hit regenerate, as you see the notes are moving and even the volumes are moving. Right, so you can generate different ones. You can change different settings, your starts and endpoints, and you just hit accept, and it'll actually add it into the piano. I think that's really cool, right? And if you want to add your own script, I believe you go up to view, and you go to script out. So you can do like your script and add a script inside of FL Studio. Um, I'm not a script writer, so I wouldn't really be using that. It is something that is there and available now inside of FL Studio. So FL is, is on a roll right now, man. I, I can't even lie. <laughs> All right. Um, and they've added a new plugin. So let me add it onto this track. All right. And it's called HyperCores. This is their new plugin that they added in here. So it gives it supposedly like a retro kind of feel. Let's hear how it sounds with the track. Right, and if I change it. Hmm. So really, really interesting sound you can create with this chorus. All right. And basically you have your delay, your feedback, modulation, moderate, some movement, which is really cool. And the rate that is actually moving, your delay lines are here. You have a high pass, a low pass, and a LFO phase. And of course you have your mix knob down here. But yeah, really, really cool uh, things that they've added inside of FL Studio 21.1. And they've also got the option now, if you go up here to like this globe and click on it, you can actually download it straight from the DAW now. You don't have to go to the site and download it. You can download it straight from the DAW. Once you restart FL Studio, it'll be downloaded. I think that's really cool as well. Um, a lot of really, really nice features that they added in here, especially making the piano roll better. I didn't think it was really that much possible, but I mean, there were things that was missing. Now they've added in there and I'm really, really starting to Think that image line is listening to its customers listening to its uh competitors and seeing what they are actually doing and, and implementing it inside of fl studio and this is what you need to do to stay ahead of the game and i think fl studio has just stepped it up another notch if you want me to start making some fl studio videos on this channel please write below in the comment section fl studio and that way I can gauge how many people actually want to see some FL Studio videos on this channel. But with that being said, that's pretty much the end of this video. I want to thank you guys for actually coming through here and watching this video. Make sure you are liking and subscribing. And if you haven't already, join the Discord. We do monthly sample flips and I do a weekly listening session. So if you have some music that you are not sure if it's ready or if you feel that it's ready, 
definitely check out the Discord. Put your song or your beats inside of the live listening session, and we'll listen to it live on Thursday nights. All right. But with that being said, that's the end of this video. Once again, it's your boy, X dot E dot L dot O. Till next time, people. Peace.